welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that find the line of regression of y on x from the following data. And this data is given to us in which the values of x are given as 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11 and the corresponding values of y are 2, 1, 5, 8, 12, 14 and 15. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, the regression equation of y on x is given by y minus y bar is equal to byx into x minus x by the whole. Where y bar is the mean value of y, x bar is the mean value of x and dyx is the regression coefficient of y on x. And secondly, if the actual mean is in fraction, then the deviations are taken from an assumed mean That is, let u is equal to x minus a and v is equal to y minus b where u and v are the deviations which are taken from the assumed mean and a and b are the assumed means of the two series that is of x series and y series respectively. And the regression coefficient b y x is given by the formula summation uv minus summation u into summation v by n whole upon summation u square minus summation u whole square by n. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now this data is given to us and from this data we can find the mean value of x that is x bar which is equal to summation x by number of observations which are n. Now on adding all the values of x we are getting summation x is 50 and the number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 50 by 7 will be equal to 7.14. And the mean value of y, that is y bar is equal to summation y by n, which is equal to, now on adding the different values of y, summation y will be equal to 57, and n is 7. So this will be equal to 8.14. Now we know that, if the actual mean is a fraction, then the deviations are taken from an assumed mean. Now there also, x bar and y bar are in fractions. So here, for solving out this question, we will take the deviations from the assumed mean. Now we have drawn a table for the given data. In the first column, we have written the different values of x. In the second column, the different values of y. Then in the next column, we will find u, which is equal to x minus a. And in the next column, we will find v, which is equal to y minus b. In the next column, we will find u into v, that is u v. And in the next column, we will find u square. And in the last column, we will find v square. Now as x bar is equal to summation x by n which is equal to 50 by 7 which is equal to 7.14 and y bar is equal to summation y by n which is equal to 57 by 7 which is equal to 8.14. Now as the means are not whole numbers
So we take deviations from the assumed means. Now let the assumed mean for the X series is equal to now x bar is equal to 7.14 so we will take the assumed mean to the nearest whole number so it will be equal to 7 and the assumed mean for y series is equal to now here as y bar is equal to 8.14 which will be equal to 8 to the nearest whole number. So the assumed mean for Y series will be 8. So U will be equal to X minus A and A is 7. And V will be equal to Y minus B and B is 8. Now we will find U. That is we will subtract 7 from the different values of X. Now we have X is 3. So u will be equal to 3 minus 7 which is minus 4, then 4 minus 7 which is minus 3, 6 minus 7 is minus 1, 7 minus 7 is 0, 9 minus 7 is 2, 10 minus 7 is 3, 11 minus 7 is 4. Then we will find v that is we will subtract h from the different values of y. Now y here is 2. So 2 minus 8 will be minus 6, 1 minus 8 is minus 7, 5 minus 8 is minus 3, 8 minus 8 is 0, 12 minus 8 is 4, 14 minus 8 is 6, 15 minus 8 is 7. Now for finding u, v, we will multiply the different values of u with the different values of v. Now we are minus 4 into minus 6 is 24. Minus 3 into minus 7 is 21. Minus 1 into minus 3 is 3. 0 into 0 is 0. 2 into 4 is 8. 3 into 6 is 18. And 4 into 7 is 28. Then we will find u square. That is we will square the different values of u. Now minus 4 square is 16, minus 3 square is 9, minus 1 square is 1, 0 square is 0, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, and 4 square is 16. Now for v square, we will square the different values of v. Now minus 6 square is 36, minus 7 square is 49, minus 3 square is 9, 0 square is 0, 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36, and 7 square is 49. Now on adding different values of u, we are getting summation u is equal to 1. And on adding different values of v, we are getting summation v is equal to 1. And on adding different values of uv, we are getting summation uv is equal to 102. On adding different values of u square, we are getting summation u square is equal to 55. And on adding different values of v square, we are getting summation v square is equal to 195. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, that is the formula for finding out the regression coefficient of y on x. Now b y x is given by the formula summation u v minus summation u into summation v by n whole over summation u square minus summation u whole square by n. Now summation u v is 102, summation u is 1, summation v is 1, n is 7, summation u square is 55. Now putting all these values here, this will be equal to 102 minus 1 into 1 by 7 whole over 1 55 minus 1 square by 7. On taking LCM in numerator and denominator, it will be 
7 will be 14 minus 1, 4 upon 7, 4 upon 385 minus 1, 4 upon 7. Now this is equal to 714 minus 1 is 713 by 7 into 7 over 385 minus 1 is 384 which is further equal to 713 by 384. Therefore, BYX is equal to 713 by 384. Now we have to find the line of regression of Y on X. Now this is the equation of regression of Y on X. Now the regression equation of y on x is y minus y bar is equal to b by x into x minus x bar the whole. Now x bar is 50 by 7, y bar is 57 by 7 and b by x is 713 by 384. Putting all these values here, this implies y minus 57 by 7 is equal to 713 by 384 into x minus 50 by 7 the whole. This further implies 7y minus 57 whole upon 7 is equal to 713 by 384 into 7x minus 50 upon 7 the whole. Now on solving and cross multiplying this implies 384 into 7y minus 57 the whole is equal to 713 into 7x minus 50 the whole. This further implies 2688y minus 21888 is equal to 4991x minus 35650 which further implies 2688y minus 4991x plus 13762 is equal to 0. So this is the regression equation of y on x. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.